This is Jupiter Today for the 6th of April, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. So, not very many events over the next 24 hours at Jupiter. Today, we've got four Jupiter satellite events and one satellite mutual event. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant one, heading east. Europa starts the day in quadrant three, heading west. Ganymede starts the day in quadrant one, heading east, but near its eastern elongation. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant four, heading east. At six hours UTC, EO is still in quadrant one, heading east but near its eastern elongation. Europa is in quadrant three, heading west but near its western elongation. Ganymede has just passed its eastern elongation and is now firmly in quadrant two, heading west the rest of the day. At 9.44 UTC, Europa goes through a perigee, that's the closest it's gonna be to Jupiter in this orbit. And that's 664,840.7 kilometers. And then at 1024 UTC, EO goes through a pair of Jove, and that's 420,048.1 kilometers. By 12 hours UTC, EO is firmly in quadrant two, heading west, and Europa is now firmly in quadrant four, heading east. At 17 hours UTC, EO begins its transit of Jupiter. At 18.07 UTC, the shadow of EO ingresses. At 19.17 UTC, the transit of EO ends. At 20.24 UTC, the shadow of EO egresses. From 23.14 to 23.19, EO eclipses Europa. It's a 5.2 minute event, and it's almost a direct eclipse. So this is definitely a photometric event. Impact parameter 0.018 arc seconds, and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.626 magnitudes. The only downside is is that Europa is very close to Jupiter, 15.65 arc seconds. And EO and Europa are 47.9 arc seconds apart. And then by zero hours UTC, EO is in quadrant three, heading west. Europa is in quadrant four, heading east, but gonna be moving behind Jupiter quite soon. Ganymede is still over in quadrant two, heading west. And Callisto continues in quadrant four, heading east. Orbital ribbons for today. These are the temporal and spatial connections between the four Galilean moons. And when I connect them this way, to me they look like twisted ribbons. So here's Eo and Europa, Eo and Ganymede, Eo and Callisto, and there again is that very symmetrical pattern that we've been seeing and noticing for the past several days now, over a week. There's Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, and you can see that's a nice sheet. And finally, Ganymede and Callisto. And then I combine all of these and reverse the video to have a black background, and we get that for today. And that's pretty nice. 24 hours of Jupiter sky. So let's just sit back and watch today.
The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today, the first at 6.08 UTC and the second at 16.04 UTC. There were no new images, but there was some new radio data. And there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, zero minutes, 31.6 seconds, and a declination of positive 18 degrees, zero minutes, 18.2 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun as seen from Earth is 116.722 degrees, and that's 0.995 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle is 9.616 degrees, and that's 0 0.088 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is 721,785,993 kilometers, and that's 2,127,287 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 88,636.96 kilometers per hour. And that's 788.71 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun today is 800,312,956 kilometers. And that's 43,727 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And it gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,821.96 kilometers per hour. And that's 14.29 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 304.9 degrees, CM2, 235.55 degrees, CM3, 159.57 degrees. So please subscribe, hit that subscribe button and that like button. I'd also like to hear any comments and questions, suggestions you'd like to make. You can leave those in the comments below or you can email all of those to the email address shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.